Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Shilpi here and in today's class I'll be telling you what to do in a dental clinic if you get accidentally pricked. So today I'll be teaching you post-exposure prophylaxis in HIV patients. So uh, the, you, uh, the exposure can either be parenteral or it can be through the mucous membranes. Then Another thing is when the patient walks in, there can be three status of the patient. Either the patient HIV status is known and he comes and tells you that he is HIV positive. Second thing is when the HIV status is unknown. Then the third condition is when the patient, uh, patient when you examine the patient intraorally and through the oral manifestations, if you suspect that the patient might be HIV positive. So in this third condition, we should write one HIV testing for the patient. We have every right to write for an HIV test and uh, there are so many ICTC centers available in uh, uh, so many medical colleges, common colleges and we should ask the patient to get their HIV testing done. Now coming to the management when you get pricked. So once you get pricked in the dental clinic, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to wash that area thoroughly with water. If you've got pricked, you need to wash it thoroughly with soap and uh, water for several minutes. And you can also wash it with chlorine compounds or you can use iodine compounds for washing it. But there are no uh, studies to suggest the effectiveness of these disinfectants, but they are not contraindicated in such patients. So they can be used. Another thing to take care is that we should not scrub at the site of injury while washing because if we scrub there are chances that we can inoculate the virus into the tissues. Then we should not use any caustic substances or bleach to wash that area. Then another thing that we need to do is that we need to apply pressure. Suppose we've got pricked here, we need to apply pressure from behind so that we can flush out a little bit blood from there to reduce the bio burden that is the viral load inside, uh, viral entering inside our body. Then if you have got exposed through the mucous membrane, suppose your eyes, if you're doing some surgery and some blood got spilled, at that time we need to thoroughly wash our eyes or that area with saline water or sterile water. Then sterile saline water should be used and sterile water should be used. If it's not available with tap water, we need to wash everything thoroughly. Then another thing that we need to do in the dental clinic is that we need to maintain a record of all this. Now we need to we need to mention in our record resi uh, register, accidental record uh, uh, register, that what happened, uh, at what time it happened, and how the incident occurred, and who was the patient. Everything needs to be mentioned in that. Then another thing that you need to do is that you need to explain the patient what happened and you can always request the patient, not force him. You can request the patient to get an HIV test done. Then another thing that you need to do is that you yourself should go to a nearby medical hospital and you should start some uh, something which is known as post-exposure prophylaxis as soon as possible possible. They will examine you, they will do an HIV test, uh, test for you and after go and visit visit the medical uh, like uh, hospital within 72 hours. It is very very important because what happens this, uh, this period, the 72 hour period is known as window of opportunity. So what happens in this 72 hours when the virus inoculates, it basically acts in the local areas, it does not enter your uh, lymphatic tissues. It does not uh, divide and release the virions into the body. So after 72 hours when the virions are re released into the body, when the virus has started replicated and they are released, that uh, indicates the infected stage of HIV and if after that if we st uh, try to give retroviral drugs also, they fail to act. So post-exposure prophylaxis should be given and they usually put you either on two drugs or three drugs depending on the risk of exposure. So post-exposure prophylaxis needs to be taken for 28 days and uh, the patient and the doctor needs to be examined after 72 hours. 
uh, and the test needs to be antibody testing needs to be repeated after six weeks after three months and six months and post exposure prophylaxis can fail also in few cases for example if the uh, doctor was exposed to uh, zidubidine resistant hiv strains so though we are using a multiple drug regimen these days but it can occur also if the uh, there was high titer or large inoculum at the time of infection or if there is reduced immune status of the host or if there is delayed initiation or there is a short duration of post exposure prophylaxis taken also if the doctor was pregnant during the exposure post uh, exposure prophylaxis is a must even if there are a lot of side effects of these drug it drugs it needs to be taken also breast feeding feeding needs to be avoided for at least 3 months from the time of exposure so all these things need to be taken care of so that brings us to the end of the class so if you have any doubts or queries you can leave a message in the comment section below i'll definitely reply you back and in the subsequent class i'll be discussing about post exposure prophylaxis in hepatitis patients and also sterilization in such cases so stay tuned for the next class and thank you so much for watching